Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do a quick video talking about the Manker Timeback 3. So this is a flashlight that was sent to me by G1.com. You can uh, check the link in the description. There's also a 10% code, Lefty10. That'll save you 10% off your order over at G1.com. But um, they sent me this to uh, review and check out and whatnot. It's actually... A fidget dealer and they usually send me you know fidgets but in this case they sent me a flashlight that has fidgety bits which is pretty interesting and um <clears throat> while this isn't something i would carry or you know um probably keep in my collection or anything it's very cool you know um at the core of it it's a quad emitter flashlight um, and then it has some fidgety functions and some cool, uh, light functions that people might like. Now you have a tail switch back here. All right. You have lights that light up back there. Lights that light up in here. Obviously that. And there's actually lights right in there as well. They don't travel through, so I'm not quite sure what those are for. I don't know if they're somehow connected to how this works. Um, but you can see, you could take the head on and off. Now, I have been told uh, by my buddy Sean that you can actually swap the heads out. Because <clears throat> I was wondering, why the heck did they do that? Well, you can swap the head out with a more throwy head. They have one that's, I guess, just one emitter with a reflector, and it can actually throw really well. So that makes sense. You'd have replaceable heads. It's kind of cool. Now, apparently those are really hard to get or find, so I don't have information on them. I didn't see them available on G1, but um, possible things have been updated. If you watch my unboxing, basically, where I unbox this, I did take this apart. There's not much going on here. Um, it's really just uh, this head comes off, and then you can pop it back on like so. And then you can unscrew here. And you can get to your battery, which is an 18350 uh, battery. And um, it's a, uh, you know, wrapped battery, proprietary, whatever you want to call it. But you could put any 18350 in here, so not proprietary. I just mean they had somebody make them this battery and they wrapped it. You can charge it right there with a USB-C, which is cool. Uh, but you can also throw it in a charger. And then you just tighten this down and your flashlight will function. Now the outer portion of the flashlight has this spinny thing, which when you turn it on, you have lights in there at night. It is pretty cool that it does that, but you know, not necessarily a key feature for me. You have a spinner ring right here or whatever you want to call this thing. You have a, um, I guess this is just meant to be very, okay. I guess it's meant to fall off. Um, there's a clicker. That's what it was. So I'm sitting there spinning it, which is why it wasn't clicking. Uh, and I unscrewed it on accident. So hang on, let me, maybe I can tighten it in with this since I somehow loosened it with that, which makes no sense. Oh boy. We are in trouble. Um, what? This should just go... Okay. So this goes ooh, underneath. Like that. And then this tightens down, I guess. Just got to get it right. There we go. All right. So I wasn't supposed to unscrew that, sorry. This clicks, <laughs> sorry. That spins and then this one kind of rotates. Like it's not spinny. It kind of makes a, I don't know. You get the point, right? Uh, and then you have a pocket clip, titanium pocket clip. Now this is where it gets wild. Titanium pocket clip, all of these blasted bits you see, those are actually zirconium. This is zirconium. And then the brass parts that you see are listed as titanium, which surprises me. 
um, because it really looks like brass. Now, maybe I just got one that they don't have listed on the site that has brass in it, but there's no, um, I mean, unless you can read that, I can't read that. Um, I'm not sure exactly, you know, but I think that's brass. Uh, it does come with this huge box, has all this stuff here, explaining things that I can't, you know, read. Comes with the charging cable. And then it came in this little case right here. Here's your uh, lumens, candela, all that stuff. If you want to pause and read that. It's obviously made overseas in China. This pops off. You get a couple extra O-rings. Uh, and you get a little lanyard guy right there. And it's pretty cool the way they ship it to you. Because they send it to you with the head like in there. And this in here. And it's just like, whoa. That's wild, you know. Um, very nice packaging. A little bit much. Probably could have done with just this part, but I guess they needed to fit the um, charger and everything in there as well. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It's just a big box to ship, you know. These are uh, <clears throat> pricey. I mean, I think it's $300 starting on this. But again, that's all zirconium. So that's not bad for a zirconium flashlight. All right, so let's get into the functionality. Tail switch, all right? So if you hold down, you get moonlight. Very, very dim moonlight. I like that quite a bit. I really like a sublumen moonlight, and this is great. Um, so that's holding down, right? If you double tap, you get turbo, all right? And I do have a beam shot video at the end of this. So you'll, you would have seen a timestamp at the beginning. If that's all you wanted, you could have skipped ahead. But it gets really bright, guys. It is a very bright light. Um, now, normal functionality, just click on. And you'll be able to cycle um, by holding down. So you get those modes. Low, medium. High, and again, double tap for turbo, and from off, hold down for moonlight. So you have five different modes there, which is pretty cool. You also have a strobe. All right, I, I can't remember if there's a, if there's two kinds of strobe. Yes, if you hold down once on strobe, it will switch over to SOS. And this, all right, there's a few. And back to stroke. Got it? And then, so some people are probably going, well, that's cool. It lights up and everything, but would I have to put it on moonlight just to get the lights on? You know, I'm one of those people who likes to put my uh, e-switch lights on in the case or whatever. I'm, I'm pretending. I'm not saying I am one of those people. You get my point. But you can actually use it without that. So you have to lock it four taps. And it'll do this sequence. And that is locking the flashlight. So now, does not turn on. But, it does turn on the lights. So now you could have this sitting in your case and it's just taking battery for the two or three light sources. And you can actually change the color of the lights. And this is where you would do that. And that will change it for when you have the light unlocked. So from here, you hold down. So now you get like a, uh, like a breathing blue. You get a spinny red. A breathing red. And then you get my favorite, which cycles through a bunch. It has like pink and blue and red. I think that's the... That's the last one. So there's the five options you get. Double tap does nothing. Triple tap does nothing. Holding down does nothing. Just turn it on to see the lights and have that go on. Then you can turn off four taps. It'll, re -go, it'll go through this again and then kick on. And now your flashlight is on. 
So that's how this flashlight works. Um, it's got a lot of features, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it's cool. It's just, it's heavy for me. Not something I would carry in the pocket. Um, the clip is tight. I wear uh, thinner uh, pants or have thinner pants on today. So it goes in, but you can see, I mean, it's not going to be the best clip, but it works. I mean, you'll get it to work. Um, it's off the frame, but it doesn't tap. So that's fine for me. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. The Manker Timeback 3. And this is a collaboration with Manko. Manker. Why do I keep saying Manko? Sorry, guys. Whew. Manker and Teabag. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Manker and Teabag doing collabs on flashlights. So let me know what you guys think down below about the Time Back 3. Um, if anybody's interested in this light, hit me up. You can buy it off me. Um, I would certainly let it go. It's just not my style, ultimately. Um, you know, I think they start at 300 bucks, so, you know, I'd sell it for two, if that helps. Um, but, yeah, just let me know. And, uh, I love you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Thank you to G1.com. Always appreciate them supporting the channel. And, um, if you guys are interested in picking this up new or a different variation, I should have told you there's like five versions on their site. There's like a Zerky tie and some crazy shit for prices that aren't bad. I mean, you're talking about 450 for a Zerky Titan flashlight. That's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, check out their website. Use code LEFTY10 and uh, love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and uh, I'll catch you later. The Manker Timeback 3, I think it's called. Uh, I just wanted to show this one. This is that wild ass one with the spinners. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so I think this is on a low. This has a quad uh, emitter setup. So let me make sure I'm on low here. Yep. So that was on low. Actually, there might even be a moonlight. So this is moonlight. I can look right at it. No issue at all. You still get all the spinning colors, all that stuff. And then if you guys remember from the uh, video, well, I'll talk about it in a different, I guess I'll do a full review. You can actually uh, turn off the light by locking it. Four clicks, right? So you'll see it's locking. And then you can tap on and you'll get the different modes but the light isn't on right it's like a glow gasket of some sort in there but the light's not on and then you can change that by holding down i believe so there you go now we're getting solid blue now we're doing red and that translates across the board then you have breathing red i like the one that has all the colors like this And then you can keep it in your case like this or whatever, I guess. Or on your table or whatever you want to do. <clears throat> it's very novelty, but it's pretty cool. Um, and then if you take the head off, see if I can get it back on after, though. Ooh. Hang on. There you go. Sorry. Should have got a tripod, but... That light is actually on the end there, which is interesting. Just <laughs> wild. And then you have the head separate. So let me just put that back together. There we go. There you go. I wish that light down there on the end of that nubbin would shine through there, but it doesn't. So let's unlock it. Turn it off. One, two, three, four. That'll unlock us. It'll kick on. All right. So, we did uh, Moonlight, which is this. Very low. Can't really see it at all there. Um, turn that off and then turn it on. Then this is low. All right. 
So here's the side of the house. That's dark. That's with low. The tree is, nah, it's just kind of getting glazed. Street sign gets hit, but you know. The yard, I can see a little bit, but it's not crazy. It's pretty good, but. So here is medium. Now I can see a good bit of the yard. It's very floody. I mean, that's what this is. You have a quad output. It's not meant for throwing, that's for sure. But trees lit up. And then you can see up close here, you know, really lights up the uh, garage side of the house. And then this, I guess this would be medium, right? Or is this high? We'll, we'll find out in a second. So now I get that whole tree lit up. I mean, <laughs> it's covering the whole yard, the sign. I mean, it's, it's doing a lot of work. There's dark. There's that. Oof. Yeah, it's got to be high. So let's try. Yeah, that was high. But I can double tap. And there's turbo. So that's even brighter. Holy cow. That's going to step down, I bet, pretty quick. But, I mean, that's really bright. You can see it coming out of there. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, that is bright. I don't think there's a strobe, but I'm going to try it. There is a strobe mode, so you can use that as well. So there might be some other stuff I just missed along the way here, but um, you should see it all in the uh, video. And apparently you can buy separate heads for this. That's why this pops off. Apparently they sell a thrower style head. So that's what I've been told by my buddy Sean Dumas, uh, but they're hard to find apparently, so... Um, anyway, you guys would have seen all that info in the uh, review portion, but here's your beam shot. Let me know what you guys think. Love you. Peace.